Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I'm going to be talking about a book I read recently called uh, The Woman in the Dunes. I read it last week as part of the PewDiePie book club and I thought it was good and worth recommending. I don't think I've ever read a book like uh, Woman in the Dunes. It's a work of fiction but it's quite philosophical in nature I think. Um, it's in some ways it's a, a horror story, um, not uh, not like a Stephen King story, but a uh, a kind of existential horror. I had my own interpretation of what I thought the story was about, and after a, a brief googling, uh, I found someone who made a thread on Reddit who had almost exactly the same interpretation of the story as me, so I think it's pretty well accepted as the most accepted theory of the book that I can find with uh, with two people backing it up, including myself. And what I think it's about is, it, it's almost a lesson in stoicism, I think. And by stoicism, I mean the idea that the situation that you find yourself in is not the not the ruler of your emotions. Your, your emotions and your inner life are not dictated by what is happening to you, but are in your own control. You can decide as a rational human being how to feel about any situation. And although the protagonist finds himself in uh, a pretty awful situation for almost all of the book, um, that's kind of what the book is about, is these awful things that happen to this main character. He he makes it worse for himself than it has to be. Um, and he's constantly rejecting the situation he's in when it's obvious to the reader, I think it's supposed to be obvious to the reader, that his life would be a lot easier if he would just be a bit more stoic and accept what was going on and just sort of roll with it uh, and try not to f fight his way out so much. Um, and perhaps that is more of a life lesson. The um, I won't, without getting into specifics, the situation that he's in in the book is it does have some parallels to real life. It's kind of an allegory, um, you know, like a Plato's cave situation. It's a very complexly devised allegory where the, this guy's situation is, you can draw parallels between what he's doing, what he's being, what's being forced upon him and the kind of difficulties that people endure in in all life. People who have ordinary, boring lives, you know, people who aren't uh, fabulously wealthy or don't have incredibly interesting jobs, their lives are a struggle. And we, as people who struggle to keep on living and to go out day to day and, and live our somewhat difficult lives, it's our choice whether to accept those things, accept our life, for what it is and try to enjoy it or to reject it and be resentful of our situation. And I think that's kind of the overall moral of the book, although there are other philosophical ideas kind of interwoven into it uh, that I won't go into here. But uh, I, <laughs> I just think it's interesting because it's not as if the author is suggesting that that makes it right, if that makes sense. He, it's not that he, the author advocates the the idea that life should be difficult it's it's almost like although it's the conclusion to the book you don't exactly feel like that was the the philosophy of the author in some ways it's kind of hard to tell it might be uh it might be more the case that he was the author was trying to explore what like what if you took this idea to its extreme what would the result be um and i think that in in the case of literature, it is it's great to read a work that seems to be an honest exploration of of an idea like that to push an idea to an its its extreme and to find out what like where is that going what are the implications like how does this really work out um, so I don't know if that may you want to read it but I hope it does and if you do read it or if you have read it please let me know what you thought of it and whether you had your own interpretations. Um, I'll get more specific about plot points in the comment section, so please don't read the comment section if you don't want any more spoilers. Um, and thank you very much for watching. I'll see you again very soon. I should also say that I'm going to be talking to Adam Frented, also known as Think Club, also known as PSA Sitch's sidekick. 
I'm going to be talking to him in a stream uh, at 8 p.m. GMT or uh, 12 p.m. California time, whatever that is. Uh, please look out for that. If you want to go over to his channel and hit notifications, you'll be notified when the stream starts, I think. <laughs> Um, you can try that, or just try turning up. I'm going to tweet it out beforehand. If you want to follow me on Twitter, you can get notified about that. And maybe I'll post a, a kind of a notification pointing you over to his channel when it's about to start. So look out for all or any of that, and I'll see you there.